Hello and welcome to Stockman Original. I'm Max Ledoux and this is the original Brian Stockman. Today on the channel, we're going to be using a fro, which is a traditional hand tool. Well, they use them for splitting wood into plates like shingles and other flat appliance. Also for quartering up a piece of wood for making ax handles and or pegs or it's a great tool for any kind of splitting like that. I mean, I wouldn't use it for splitting firewood. It'd be a little <laughs> labor intensive, but if you want a, a good straight cut across the log and get it, uh, you know, going in a flat plane, this is the tool for you. Oh, the other reason that I'm using this piece of wood is that for bass, so it's got this big gaping crack. For basswood, this is highly unusual. Uh, usually a piece of wood this size doesn't crack. If you took it in the winter time, especially, it wouldn't. But it did. This one did. So I'm going to use it for what it's good for, splitting it in half the rest of the way. Okay, so I'm just lining the fro up now on the crack to carry it through to the rest of the log. Now the fro's in there. The idea is to drive it in there and give it a little uh, tweak like that. And voila! Dusty crack. <laughs> Popped it apart nice. That is a, a, a super uh, straight split. <laughs> yeah, it's a dandy. And even <laughs> if this hadn't already had a crack in it, it would have um, been probably even straighter. Because that crack was, is, I mean, does that have to do with the, structure of the, the wood. structure of the wood? Yeah, you can actually see a lot from this piece of wood. When I looked at this crack, I could tell that the grain was straight because the natural crack that appeared was straight. So I knew the whole tree would be like that. Uh, sometimes trees, when they grow, especially if they're in a windier area, they can tend to twist. Or if they follow in the sun, you know, trees will get a twist in them and they corkscrew and they're not, you know, very good for this sort of thing. But you can look on a tree's bark, and I've mentioned this in other shows about the bow making and so forth, that the, the grain of the the wood is reflected in the bark. So you can tell if a tree has a twist to it before you cut it even. Yeah. On this one, this is a dandy. And you can see a lot of how it grew weird like that, but yet the, it still is growing straight. And this is you know, something that happened when it was a, a baby. The actual center of the tree goes off to the side here. Anyway, that's uh, probably enough about that. 